Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back, it's Sweet Viver. Today we're gonna do some benchmarks. We're gonna try out the new beta version of the Windows Mixed Reality for Steam VR that enables asynchronous space warping, a better reprojection that also is available for the Oculus Rift that makes the game more butter smooth. Even though if you don't have the full frame rate, we're supposed to get it now just by enabling the ASW reprojection. So I'm gonna try this in five different virtual reality games so join me guys and we're gonna see if we can really get some great performance boost using our windows mixed reality headsets even on lower spec pcs just like my laptop with a gdx 1070 and before we jump in don't forget to slam that like button or the dislike button and subscribe to my channel for much more vr gameplays and content coming up so the news came out on the 1st of April about this new motion reprojection being available in the latest beta of the Windows Mixed Reality for Steam VR. And no guys, this is not a joke just because it was the 1st of April. It actually works. Even though it looks quite complicated looking at all this text, it's all about just adding one line into a single config file. At the bottom of the page, the developers are mentioning that we can expect some visual artifacts, especially if the game cannot hit 50 frames per second, it could still have bad performance. Also, the developers of this software has added that if you are at 90 frames per second and enable this reprojection feature, it will still drop you to 45 frames per second and reproject every other frame. Which means, for example, if you have a GTX 1080 Ti and you get perfect 90 frames per second in a game and enable this reprojection, it will still drop you to 45 frames per second and reproject every other frame. So have that in mind and only have this feature in Enable on games where your graphic card actually is struggling and not in games where your graphic card actually can hold up 90 frames per second stable. So let's just get this started. Go into the Windows Mixed Reality for Steam VR, go into Properties, choose Beta tab and pick the public local beta. Open up this location on your C drive where Steam is installed and open up default configuration file. Open it up with Notepad and add this line that you can find in the the video description down here below. Just add the line and it will automatically enable the ASW reprojection. If you would like to disable this function again, just add a double slash in front of this line and choose save. Remember to always save your editing if you would like to enable or disable this function. During all the upcoming game tests, except for Fallout 4 VR actually, I'm gonna have the application super sampling set to 1.0 in Steam VR. While trying out Fallout 4 VR, I'm gonna leave it on 1.4, well, just because the game is so freaking blurry at 1.0, even on a Samsung Odyssey headset. So let's begin the benchmarking. We're gonna start off with the Skyrim VR without the ASW reprojection enabled. So that means that we're only using the asynchronous reprojection that is on default on in Steam VR. And as you can see, I have lowered down the graphical settings on Skyrim VR just because, well, I'm playing this on a gaming laptop this time and I cannot expect the same performance as I had on my GDX 1080 Ti. So the first thing I can immediately see is that the reprojection kicks in. The weapons are not fully butter smooth while moving around. Even though my head movements are fully butter smooth thanks to the asynchronous reprojection, the weapons are still juddery. Also while moving around with free locomotion, I'm seeing that the environment around me is a little bit stuttery. It feels like it's running in like 45 frames per second or something and that means that the graphic are cannot hold up the frame rate. While trying to run around by using the sprint button, I can see that the stuttering around in the environment gets even worse. Going outside is almost the same performance. It's maybe a little bit better, but I can still see that everything around me is just stuttery. While strafing side to side next to Lydia, I can clearly see that she's very stuttery and the image is not butter smooth. Well, except for when I just turn around my head. So let's enable the new asynchronous space warping reprojection and see if we can spot a difference. At a first glance, everything looks a little bit more smooth. The weapon movements are much smoother now, even though they're not butter smooth. My head movements are still butter smooth as before, and the movement itself while doing free locomotion is almost perfect. 
But there is a big problem here as well. As soon as I move my weapons around, I can see some artifacts. It looks like the weapons are waving around. It, there's something just wrong with the picture. I don't know what it is. And while going around with free locomotion, everything gets a little bit ghosting and motion blur or something. The weapons just look wavy. It looks like they're waving in some way, especially at the edges. And it almost looks like some kind of motion blur that totally it destroys the immersion unfortunately. When sprinting the movement is almost butter smooth but there is an apparent ghosting into the picture overall. Moving outside gives us a little bit better picture overall with less artifacts but they're still there and especially at the weapons that still look very very wavy. While trying to strafe next to Lydia again she is almost body smooth now, but there is an apparent ghosting around her while I move. And this is quite distracting to be honest. So it's a shame that the performance gain we get here is actually destroyed by all the artifacts. And all in all, I would not recommend you to, to play Skyrim VR with this new asynchronous space warping reprojection. Next up, Doom VFR. This is a game that actually runs quite well on my GDX 1070 laptop, especially if I turn down the settings. But in this test, I'm gonna use the same settings that I had while playing it on my GDX 1080 Ti just to get some reprojection. So already at the first glance, I can see that the weapons are jittery and stuttery. The asynchronous reprojection kicks in. The free movement is quite smooth. It's not buttery smooth, but almost at least but this weapons and weapon handling just doesn't feel right. It actually makes the gameplay a little bit more difficult while having the weapons so stuttery. I tried different scenarios as well, more busy scenarios with more enemies, and the more busy it got, the more reprojection I got and less responsive while playing. I'm not sure if you actually can see any reprojection in this video because it's very hard to record it. It's not gonna be that obvious in a video compared to what you see in a VR headset, but still, you could probably see that the picture is not silky smooth. In some parts of the game, the image was butter smooth and I can play without any reprojection at all, but as soon as I got too many opponents in the picture, I could still see that my weapons were just too stuttery. And with the, all the explosion and things happening in Doom VFR, this is almost unplayable for me. Of course, I could probably just lower down the settings, but instead we're gonna enable the asynchronous space warp reprojection. To my big surprise, the first thing that I actually noticed is some input lag. It feels like the weapons are not following my movements. It's like a delay, it's a very short delay, but it's still there and it's really, really distracting. The image feels totally butter smooth while moving around, but there is just something wrong with the picture right now. And even though I cannot see much of artifacts in this game compared to Skyrim VR, it's still almost more unplayable now just because of the input lag we get with this new asynchronous space warping reprojection. I gotta tell you that after a while, I got a little bit motion sick and that doesn't happen often to me anymore. So I think that the input lag totally destroyed the feeling in VR even though the image was butter smooth something just felt totally wrong. So the reprojection from 45 frames per second to 90 frames per second with this asynchronous space warp reprojection it just doesn't work in Doom VFR. So my recommendation is just to stay away from this reprojection while playing Doom VFR. I think you're better off just lowering down the graphical settings to get perfect frame rate. Next up, Explain 11. I know this simulator is a very demanding simulator, especially for the CPU, so I decided to lower down the settings from start because, hey, I'm running this on a GDX 1070 laptop. And just as I expected, the frame rate is really, really bad. I only have the asynchronous reprojection on right now, and I can clearly see that my hand movements are extremely stuttery and juddery. Also, when taking off and going up into the air, I can see that everything around me is stuttery. Of course, my head movements are gonna be silky smooth thanks to the asynchronous reprojection, but I would say that in this state and with this kind of stutters, this simulator is totally unplayable on my laptop even with those low settings on. So how about just turning on the asynchronous space warp reprojection and see if we can spot a difference. 
So despite having the new reprojection on, my hands were still stuttering, not so much anymore, but they were still not butter smooth. But let's take off and see how the game performs up in air. Well, it's almost playable now, it's still stuttery, my head movements are of course silky smooth, but it's still very very st stuttery and the biggest problem now is that this new reprojection has introduced a lot of artifacts around the buildings especially. The buildings look wavery, it looks like they're waving, it looks like there is some kind of ghosting around them and it just feels totally wrong. But hey, I'm not giving up yet. I'm gonna try to lower down the settings just a little bit to see if I can even get a butter smooth frame rate. Well, it gets better and better the more I lower down the settings, of course, but it's still not butter smooth like I was expecting it to be with this new reprojection. Everything looks more smooth. It actually is probably playable, but personally, I cannot stand this. I need a full butter smooth frame rate to be able to run this simulator in VR. Also, all the artifacts around the buildings are even worse now, I think. The buildings are just waving around and it looks so bad. So if you can't stand those artifacts, well, you can probably get this simulator to run quite butter smooth, especially if you have a faster graphic card like the GTX 1080 or 1080 Ti. So all in all, I would say that the X-Plane 11 is the first title here that actually gains from this reprojection type and actually makes it more playable. Next up, Project Cars 2 VR. As you can see in the options and the graphical settings, I have not changed anything. This is the default settings that was set when I installed this simulator on my laptop with a GDX 1070. So this game is assuming that it's gonna run with those settings quite butter smooth. So guys, let's jump into it only with asynchronous reprojection on. Well, the head movements are silky smooth, but as soon as I step on the gas, I can clearly see that there is something wrong. The game feels like it's running in 30 frames per second or something. It's just not butter smooth and it almost gives me a feeling of playing a console game. Well, on a PC monitor that would probably work quite well, but in a VR headset you really need those 90 frames per second and that perfect frame rate because right now I cannot really feel the sense of speed and it feels like I'm playing this in slow motion or something. So let's turn on the asynchronous space warp, the new reprojection and see the difference. Wow, wait a second. Everything is suddenly butter smooth and it really feels like I'm running this game in 90 frames per second. I'm not sure if you can see this in this gameplay, but it is butter smooth, I can assure you. Everything feels right. In VR this really is so important to have this frame rate to even feel the speed of this car because now I actually feel that I'm driving this car in 100 or 200 miles per hour. I cannot feel any input lag either, which is very good because it's very important to have a good input lag in a racing simulator and the overall feeling just feels right. So this is actually the first game or simulator that actually fully benefits from this space warping reprojection. I can play this game on those settings on my laptop with a GDX 1070 with a perfect frame rate. I got a few small stutters here and there and you can clearly see some ghosting at the opponent cars but still, it's a fully playable experience even on the laptop with a GDX 1070. So this time I can tell you right away that this new reprojection really is a success, at least in Project Cars 2 VR. And lastly, we're gonna try out the Fallout 4 VR, a game that struggles on, well, practically any PC out there on the market. And this is the first time I actually started off Fallout 4 VR on my new laptop, and wow, the frame rate is just really, really bad. I can clearly see that the asynchronous reprojection is working hard, especially while I'm moving around, and the game is almost unplayable. So let's turn on the new asynchronous space warping, and wow, to my big surprise, it's even worse now. It really feels like I'm running this game in 20 or 25 frames per second. Something is obviously wrong. I don't know what it is, but while just moving around and sprinting around, everything is so stuttery that I almost get motion sick straight away. This is not how this game should be performing. 
So if you want to use the new reprojection with your Samsung Odyssey or any other Windows Mixed Reality headset, I would not recommend you to play Fallout 4 VR with it because it makes the performance even worse. And lastly, one more very, very strange thing is that when I actually disabled the Windows Phone Mixed Reality Steam VR beta version and went back to the standard version, everything just got so much more fluid. It's still not perfect frame rate, it still reprojects a lot. You can clearly see that by moving, well, with free locomotion, but it's so much better frame rate. So, well, in this case, don't run the beta and just use the asynchronous reprojection and you can still play this game. Well, at least if you're not too sensitive with asynchronous reprojection. So all in all, I was expecting some better performance boost and also less artifacts from this new asynchronous space warping. So, well, to be honest, I would recommend you to not use it, not for now at least. It's still a first beta version and it will probably improve further on and eventually it's gonna work just like the Oculus Rift version of the ASW works because on the Oculus Rift, it really works great. But of course, if your PC is struggling a lot in similar like Project Cars 2 VR or x 11, I can actually recommend you to try it just to get some performance boost. And it's, it's not gonna be perfect, there will be some artifacts, but the frame rate is much better. So guys, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this little performance video. Hit that like button or the dislike button if you don't enjoy this. And please subscribe to my channel because there's gonna be a lot more videos, gameplays and reviews coming up. Have a lovely weekend now and see you very soon again. Cheers!